When health care workers hear a call for help, they answer it, no matter where it's coming from. Several Kentucky certified registered nurse anesthetists have proven that by spending the last few weeks working in New York City. LEX 18's Alex Valverde tells us about their experience. For CRNA Samantha Heverin, the COVID-19 pandemic almost left her without work. My organization, AmSurge, who is incredibly brilliant, they said, you know, they're all ambulatory care centers across the U.S. and everything closed, so none of us had jobs. But Heverin saw the need somewhere else, and she left Louisville and got to New York City almost a month ago. Right now, she and co-worker Sally McAfee are working with the Mount Sinai Health System. We're going to be intubating patients. We're going to be proning patients. because Somebody has to manage the airway when you put these patients on their bellies. And you don't want to lose that airway, so that's going to be our job. Emergency intubations is a big thing. But those are just some of the many duties they and other Kentucky health care workers have in New York. It's a war, and that's what it feels like. And during this stressful time, they lean on each other. I don't think I could make it without Samantha. Those shifts are just mentally, physically exhausting. exhausting. Yeah. We just can't do enough. We, we rely on each other a lot. And we my, do. You know, we FaceTime my three-year-old. Mm -hmm. He's super sweet, so obviously that helps. The CRNAs hope to be back in Kentucky in a couple of weeks, trained and ready, if the situation gets worse here. If a pandemic really hit us hard in Louisville, Kentucky or Lexington, Kentucky, I could walk in and tell you, boom, 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 this is what we yeah. need to do and this is how we need to do it. Doing what they can wherever the need takes them. Alex Valverde, LEX 18 News.